Mm, I love experimenting and I hope that in the past months you have been trying out different things and techniques and all sorts of products with me if you're watching my videos regularly. So this time we have to put away our beloved watercolors and move into acrylic paints. I'm definite, most definite sure, sure, sure you have some acrylics at home. Am I right? If they are very cheap, if they are super expensive, it does not matter what brand you have. Today's painting, today's technique, today's trial of acrylic painting, it's easy, it's for everyone, it does not matter what you have. Paint, uh, tape, water, brushes and paper. I have two GSM uh, paper, which means the thickest as you can it would be the best. It doesn't matter what it is. Acrylics are usually working on every surface. Unless you have a canvas, then work away with your canvas. So let's start, let's do some fun art together. I think it's time to start our silhouette, as they call it, painting. I am gonna be adding my acrylic paints in the motion of, as you can see right now, in the motion of this uh, smooshes of color. Not too much paints though. Take your time and be sure to blend in and gra gra graduate. Is that the word? There is a word like that, I'm pretty sure. And yes, so basically that's perfect, but I should, <laughs> I should start probably way lower than that, but that's okay. I'm going to do it here. <clears throat> I'm going to do that here, and I need a bit of paper, I guess. I don't want my painting to have too much water. So I'm going to rinse it on the paper and grab more pink. This pink doesn't work that well, I don't know why. But it's okay. So basically the idea for a silhouette, which I like to call it silhouette, <laughs> silhouette painting is to make a sky that is changing and it's gradually, gradually changing from the dark. It's like the, you know, when you have the moon on the sky <clears throat> and you have this beautiful sky on the back. So that's kind of the idea. And I have to say that you have been asking me for this particular video for quite some time to do the silhouette and I never knew what it is until you told me to check it, to, to try it, to show the video, to find out. So be, i be very honest with you, this is the very first time I am painting this. I have not done it, I've seen what they look like and it's about the sky, it's about black um, person or image or animal on the kind of on the what's the word on the on the sky yeah on the image so that's the idea which I completely get and it's great and I thought you know what this looks so fascinating that I am gonna try it that's exactly what I thought so I am trying to blend in more and more and more as you can see be careful because when you're going lower from um, from darker to brighter you may end up with smushing your colors that uh, you may lose your bright color okay I'm gonna go back here again I will need more of that or maybe a different pink let me see if I have some nice bright pink or maybe some other color what about some of that well that's pink as well different pink but pink I, it seems that I don't have any nice... I have a pearly one, which could work, I guess. Okay. Anyway, the palette thing, the baking palette sheet thing, works fabulous, as you can see. So, that is nice to know. That you don't have to spend so much money. You can basically try and save some by using a kitchen parchment. No. <laughs> I like that. It's harder to see because I my paint is metallic, so I guess it's harder to see. But silly me, if I don't have the bright pink, I could use white, isn't it? <laughs> that is just Marta. Marta way of thinking. I could always brighten it up with my white. Look at that. Oops. 
Okay, that's okay. It doesn't have to be even. Don't worry if it's not gonna work. I'm doing that literally as we speak, as you watch for the first time and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make some mistakes but that's all a part of our learning process and it's super needed and it's and it's great to do so to learn and enjoy okay so our sky is kind of ish ready <laughs> I do love it I need black still I still need black for the top part for the painting itself but for the top part as well okay I'm gonna clean my brush maybe I like that I really really love this I think I still miss a little bit here maybe two seconds maybe I will add a little bit here mm-hmm just a little bit to get rid of that to get rid of that actually the metallic color I'm not a fan of metallic here but I am loving it in general. It's nice. Oh, oh, I like that. Oops, that's dark. That's okay. Okay, I leave that. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to destroy it. But I will add a bit of black now on the back. On the top, sorry. On the top. I'm afraid. <laughs> oh. No, it would be probably good to have less paint and just try to gently go lower with it. Is it? Yeah. I'm actually disappointed a little with this brush. It's it's for one stroke good Windsor and Newton brush and it makes those strokes. It's for one one stroke painting for the flowers, but I would imagine this is this would work nicely. Uh, maybe I'm not the best in painting, I, well most definitely I'm not but I would imagine that the brush will leave less strokes but maybe I'm just doing it wrong, I don't know I don't know, anyway it looks fabulous to me now we need this to dry and then we will paint our beautiful um, image I don't know, maybe a tree, maybe a cat, maybe a, a couple, a girl that's what usually is painted in this subject, the silhouette um, paintings are about that but we do something pretty together <laughs> let's wait for this to dry mm, our painting is dry so what I will do now I'm gonna use a very small brush and I will use black color to paint uh, a grass basically so I will be flicking my my flicking my um, brush uh, and create kind of grassy looking <laughs> thing that's what I hope to do. As you can see, I am just delicate flicking here and there, starting from the bottom, going upwards, bottom, upwards. Not not like this, not like that. Up, down, no, no, no. Up, uh, <laughs> from bottom to up. So then you have those beautiful finishing strokes that they do look like a grass, really. I'm using, uh, I'm trying to make sure that my my brush and uh, my uh, paint is not too thick so it's easier to kind of leave those delicate strokes basically so try to loosen up your wrist try to loosen up and just if you feel that it's not doing anything anymore then add maybe some more pigment more paint loosen up relax and take your time we're not on the Olympics we're not rushing anywhere right now so Take your time and just enjoy the creating process as I am doing now. And I have to say, uh, this is uh, something you have been asking for. So I'm quite um, nervous about how it's going to be because I'm doing it live with you just now <laughs> without any trials. And okay, I lied. I've done a trial. I'll show you. I've done like this. <laughs> Just to see the composition, where can my tree be, that's my trial, that's that's max, and my grass looks even horrible. So that's all I've done, just out of curiosity, but I didn't really do any trial, that's, that's, that's it. So I'm very excited to show you this today, and I cannot wait to upload it, can I wait to see it finished. It's all so very exciting actually, and I really, really love it 
two bits so far. So yes, that's that's nice, isn't it? No. In the meantime, I have uh, stretched my I have stretched my paper, and what I've done is I put back my tape. I'm worried that possibly my tape is not in the perfect ex exactly same spot as it was so if it's if it's the case then that's that's how it is I've tried to be as precise as I could when I was doing it but it wasn't really that easy to put it back exactly so I may have some some lines uh, in between but that's okay now so we have kind of grass thing um, and I thought to do those things kind of I, I don't know how to say it in English you know you have this kind of thing and they are at the lakes usually them things I don't even know Polish name that's why I cannot even google for, <laughs> for it let me try to find out mm, it's called cattail yeah I know it sounds easy isn't it so unless I'm really wrong now which is possible. Okay, so let's try and paint it. And I'm not really a precise type of person, which scares me. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Marta, you can do it. Oh! That's okay. That's fine. So I think. It would be nice to maybe add this cattail here. <laughs> you know, it's very satisfying type of painting, I have to say. And if someone would ask me months ago, would I be into painting all sorts, I would say, no, I'm art journaler, I'm mixed media artist, well, crafter, crafter, but definitely I wouldn't think i be into painting, but since there are so many amazing things you can paint and draw and try, it's a shame not to. It's just a shame not to, basically. So I am uh, first to say, just go for it, just try. Don't put yourself into any sorts of... Um, don't put yourself into any brackets, any type of names, and that's what I do. You can do million things. You can try million other things. There's so many techniques that I have been trying to, I, I've been dying to try. One of them would be this, most definitely. So, you know, don't stress yourself that you, this is what who you are. You are who you are, and that's it. You can be and experiment however you wish. <clears throat> I love that. This is so relaxing. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna leave it at that, just for now at least, just to see, uh, because my next idea was to add the tree <laughs> somewhere here. So let's try and add the tree. As I said, take your time, not rushing anything, you know, tree is a tree. I don't think I painted tree, uh, well, the last time probably I painted a tree was maybe 25 years ago in elementary school or something like that. So, you know, just relax your <laughs> muscles and trust your instinct and you'll be fine. And it's not today. We just learning the technique more than anything, so it's not. You know. You don't have to necessarily feel like you must to finish a masterpiece. No, we are trying to learn today something special, and that is the silute silute technique, which I think it's super fun, and I do hope. It will encourage you today to try something different, you know? Something different, basically. Now I'm gonna try to make my branches looking more like branches rather than just sticks. <laughs> Which... That's how they look now, but... 
Uh, as I said, I haven't done a tree for oh God knows for how long. But I could not resist to try this since you have asked me so many times. I mean, so many of you have said it. Did you try this technique? And I couldn't say be yes because I haven't. So I thought, okay, Marta, I think it's the right time to to try. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. And also I always try to prove you that you can just try and you can do it even if you have never done no, never done it before like I'm doing now. I'm basically experimenting with you and yeah we're learning together and I hope that this is a good way for you to believe in yourself that not everything we're not masters we're not born masters we learn things as we go <clears throat> we master certain things but most definitely unless you very talented and you were born super talented but most of us are not we learn and yeah that's kind of it we just learn by trying I have to say I so love it I am so loving it that I'm afraid to in any way destroy it my not too bad looking tree my brush is not the best, that's most definitely, it's my, the, the, oh wait, I have some other brush here, maybe I'll try this brush. My hair, like, oops, my hairline there, it's kind of not great, it's leaving my, the lines are not, not, you know, they're like double the line or something, so that's not really nice. But let's try this one and see if this will help. In any way, mm. they all shit, really. Sorry for using that word, but you know you're spending so much money on on the brushes and to be disappointed with them. And I I really did care about the painting brushes, whether they were watercolors or acrylic. I did care about them. I have been washing them. I didn't put them in the, I didn't leave them in the pot or anything. So, but anyway, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. To be honest at the end of the day so what's next I think it would be nice to maybe add some bit of birdies here somewhere maybe two birdies a couple that love each other <laughs> that would be nice isn't it I'm trying to not touch my not touch my what's the word my um wet parts of the painting to not make it stamp now from my finger so be careful with that guys be very careful with that so we we do a little birdie birdies two birdies ah <laughs> isn't it just cool and so easy you do have to admit that now you have to say this to me, Marta, this was class and I have been dying to try it and I will try it now because I know I can do it. Because I'm telling you, you can do it. If I can do it, you can certainly do it. Now I'm thinking maybe to add the little, like little leaves and stuff. This tree seems to be kind of very much bare to me, but I don't know. Um, I'm nearly close to um, close to taking my marker and add the branches because they would be much thicker than thinner, thinner than thicker. Yeah, and yeah, so that would make be. I'm still not the most happy with my tree, so let's work on it. Let's just see. Obviously, trees are not perfect. Of course, they're not perfect. Do remember that, guys. They are far from perfect. Each of them is an individual being. So, 
don't worry about it but most definitely I wish my branches touching each other for example <laughs> and look a bit like more natural if I f oh you see I stamped it so be careful be very careful at that <clears throat> Mm. I don't know. I don't know if I f should keep on adding or will I just <clears throat> destroy it by accident. I would worry, but at the same time I feel that I can still add something. I can still add bits and pieces, you know? Hmm. <laughs> It does look better than five minutes ago, most definitely, so I like that idea. I feel that I wish my branches to be slightly bigger, but maybe it's a young tree. <laughs> it's a young tree, so let's leave it. Uh, I'm thinking to maybe add a little bit like, I don't know, like some, some sort of leaves here and there, like just tapping, just, you know, don't concentrate too much on it, just touches like I don't know kind of like leaves you know and remember your second trial will be always better or should be or could be better than the first one so if it didn't work move on do it again and just enjoy and yeah, I'm not too happy with those uh, with, the, <laughs> with those with those um, leaves but that's okay look it's fine maybe it would be nice if we have a leaf kind of going somewhere I don't know or maybe we need more grass, most definitely. We need more grass, mm-hmm, here and there. And maybe... Maybe more of the, the them things, the cattail thing. This is easy to paint. <laughs> the tree is not so easy. This is easy, which is great. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of quiet because I am really concentrating and I really am loving it, so it's a little bit like. Oh, I think those uh, those now are better little um, leafies yeah I'm happy with those leaves now so second try can be better oops when you walk away and just my hand is shaking maybe <laughs> that's why it's okay it's okay, it's all great. It's all good, Marita. Isn't it? Oh, how pretty is this? How simple and how fun. I cannot wait to see your makes. I really, really cannot wait because you can use any color you want. I've used pinks and purples and whichever, but you can use like reddish, yellowish sky, you know. Any them kind of type would be just fabulous, so looking forward to seeing that be sure to tag me Maremi small art please I would love to see it on the on Facebook or on Instagram I, I always try to check it for you it's always nice to see when you inspired sometimes for the very first time to actually grab your tools and paint or so yeah it's nice then it is really nice I love that. I am in love with this. And it's not my last painting. That's a most for sure. Like, that's for sure. Okay. I think I'm kind of done here 
with my little birdies and maybe I should add something like I don't know <laughs> as if the the leaves are falling down or something yeah I think we're done guys we are done and dusted here let's just take out the paint the tape keep the tape because you can use it again it does work I've tried it <laughs> be gentle when you're take, taking it off because you could even though it's super tape you could technically rip it off so be very very super gentle with it I love that oh my gosh oh my oh my I love it I am loving it. oops you see there you go so the angle is important how you're gonna do it that's okay that's okay I'm gonna hold it here so nobody will see <laughs> okay uh, watch your tape when you're taking it off uh, taking it out because as you can see if you're too fast and too big angle you can rip it off I hope you enjoyed that I hope it was inspirational it was fun to watch and it encouraged you to believe that you can actually do something like this and it's very fun and easy and it is for everyone whether you're beginner or advanced something just nice to try relax and enjoy thank you for all for your time as always thank you for watching for all the beautiful amazing comments from you you make my day I sit and I read them uh, sometimes I reply once I have a few minutes free so I try to reply as many as I can so thank you very much I really much appreciate your input in my YouTube channel because I'm here for you and so your comments are important for me also if you think it's nice for others to see please do share this video with your friends it would be absolutely wonderful yes I have few other things planned as you know me <laughs> I will finish with that wrap up at that and I will thank you so much yet again and I will talk to you super soon <laughs> bye bye bye